I don't know who you got here. Who's down there? Um, Baby Isla. Oh, it's Baby Isla, and we're going on a walk, aren't we? <laughs> it's big dookie. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to talk you through a really great tool called Audience Insights. And basically what this tool is going to do is help you understand the audiences that you're reaching for the first time i.e. your cold audience via Facebook. Stay tuned when I get back into the office. All right, so we're back in the office and I'm gonna take you through audience insights. So what you need to do first of all is jump into your uh, business manager and then hit all tools and you can see that expands into audience insights. Once that opens up, it's gonna to default to showing you US, but we wanna change that to be Australia in this instance and then deselect the US and it's showing here that we have a potential well, we have an audience uh, that we can analyze of 15 to 20 million people now what we're going to do is continue to refine it you can refine it by interest demographics or some other online behaviors and right now what I'm going to do is refine it by people who let's just go our parents with kids aged between 0 and 12. And it's going to show here we have uh, an audience of between 700 to 800,000 people, monthly active people. Uh, let's refine it even more. We'll chuck in an, uh, an interest. You can type in various interests here. So it could be people have an interest in, for example, Rebel Sport or CrossFit or whatever it might be. Alternatively, you can select some broad targeting here so we're just going to refine this by fitness and wellness and then let's just say uh, meditation now we have an audience size here of 90,000 to 100,000 monthly active people that we can really dive into and analyze so what you can see here is the age and gender demographics certainly he more heavily skewed towards women at 87 percent and then the age brackets of 25 to 34 and also 35 to 44 relationship status majority married uh, education level you have some insight here and then job title or industry that they work in moving along you can check out the page likes and what this is showing is the categories of pages so when you create a page you need to select a particular category that you want, you want your page to be in and this is showing all the various categories uh, and the top pages within those categories so you've got here sports and recreation the Healthy Mummy Fitness, Education, the Parental Stress Center of Australia, so on and so forth. Uh, if we scroll down, you can then see page likes rather than page category, and it's, uh, it defaults to sorting by relevance. Um, so the, the pages that uh, Facebook sees as most relevant to the targeting criteria that we've set up here. You can also sort it by audience size, and what this column represents is of the total 90 to 100,000 people in these uh, targeting options, in these fields that we've selected, of that total, uh, how many of them follow these pages? So you can see here that if this was my exact target audience, I'd definitely consider either targeting fans of the healthy mummy, um, which is a great insight that we can gain here. So I guess that's one of two benefits by doing this. One, you can really take a dive into the cold audience that you're going to be reaching out to and make sure that they have relevant interests and as well there's always an opportunity for you to try to build a relationship with the page admin and then that could be in the way of even liking commenting and engaging with their posts and then also reaching out to um, the page admin finding out who the, the marketing manager or social media coordinator is out on LinkedIn reaching out to them that way and trying to build up almost like a strategic partnership or an alliance whereby you can build a win-win relationship with another page that shares your target audience but doesn't compete so you might have a decent sized audience they might have a decent sized audience or you might not have a decent sized audience and they may have a large audience and you could even incentivize them with a giveaway or a competition or even financially for them to share or create posts about your product or service and then in the next column it has Facebook so the healthy mummy has a total uh, audience size of about 480,000 within our specific criteria there's about 30,000 people so give or take about about 40% I'd say 
If we move now, you can check out the location tab. So we have the top cities uh, and also the top countries. Obviously, it's just going to say Australia because that's what we've targeted. And then you can also check out uh, how active they are. I don't believe this for a minute that they're all desktop. I don't know why that's saying that, uh, but I wouldn't believe that. But normally it'd show you know, the proportion of this audience that are only active on their mobile, only active on desktop or use both. So feel free to jump into Audience Insights. It's a free tool that you can access through your Ads Manager or through your Business Manager. And it becomes really important if you are building out a campaign and you wanna learn a bit more about the cold audiences that you're going to be reaching out to for the first time, or you're thinking about reaching out to some relevant pages to build almost like a bit of a joint venture so that you can share each other's audience or you could uh, collaborate in a competition or a giveaway. So. Uh, Check it out, have a play around, and if you have any questions, as always, just pop them in the comments below.